It's um sometime. Hi guys, can you guess the title of my next video? Hurry up! Write your guess in the comment section below. Has the Bermuda Triangle mystery been solved? The Bermuda Triangle is roughly a triangular region of the Atlantic Ocean between Bermuda, Florida, and Puerto Rico. Here, many ships, boats, planes, etc. have reportedly disappeared under mysterious circumstances. According to a recent study, experts theorize that a natural phenomenon known as rogue waves are the main reason for some of these mysterious disappearances. Rough stormy seas of this region can create rogue waves which are about 100 feet high. These high waves can easily damage ships and boats. Another theory states that hexagonal clouds found in this area can act like air bombs, blasting winds at huge speeds. These winds can destroy planes and create waves which can destroy ships. Some people believe that a strange magnetic anomaly affects the compass readings, thus misguiding oh. ships and planes. Others even attribute the events to UFOs or aliens. What makes tattoos permanent? Huh? Glue sticks! No. Our skin has three layers, epidermis, dermis, and hypodermis. Epidermis sheds thousands of skin cells oh. every day. Hence, when we get a tattoo, the tattoo needles which are coated with colored pigment are inserted through the epidermis into the dermis thus preventing the tattoo pigment from getting shed away. However, huh? it is mainly our body's immune response which makes tattoos permanent. What? But how? The tattoo needles create wounds oh. in the skin, activating the immune response. Immune <laughs> cells, like macrophages, reach the wounded site and start to eat the small particles of colored pigment and clean the area. Bigger pigment particles that cannot be eaten by macrophages are absorbed by fibroblasts present in the dermis. These fibroblasts, along with some macrophages, remain at the <laughs> site, making the tattoo permanent. Hmm. Why do heavier objects fall faster? Whether an object is heavy or light, all objects accelerate at the same rate towards the Earth. That is, at 9.8 meters per second squared. This means all objects should fall at the same speed, right? Absolutely. However, this happens only when there is vacuum. A scientist named Robert Boyle placed a coin and a feather in a big glass jar and removed all the air from it, thus creating a vacuum. He then inverted the jar and observed that both the objects fell to the bottom at the same time. But this doesn't happen on Earth because here the speed of falling objects depends upon their surface area and air resistance. The feather has more surface area as compared to the coin. Hence, more air pushes against the feather due to which it experiences greater air resistance and thus, the feather falls slower as compared to the coin. Mm. Topic: Human hair. <laughs> Oh. Why do we get goosebumps? To burst balloons! <laughs> nope. Goosebumps oh. served a purpose for our ancestors who had a lot of hair on their body. When our ancestors felt cold, their adrenal glands produced adrenaline. Oh. Adrenaline caused the erector pili muscles, which are attached to the hair follicles, to contract creating shallow depressions on the skin surface and making the hair stand straight up, thus causing goosebumps. The straightened hair trapped more air, which prevented their body heat from escaping and hence kept them warm. Oh. Also, when our ancestors felt afraid of any animal, <laughs> the adrenaline made their hair stand up, making them look bigger and thus oh. scared their attacker. Yeah, dude, it scares me too. Oh. Now, as this characteristic of goosebumps is inherited by us, we also get them during strong emotions or when it is cold. Topic: Refraction of light. Huh? <laughs> Why does a pencil look bent in water? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh. 
Wow, that was a very cool magic trick. <clears throat> now check this out. <laughs> oh. Hey, stop crying. Huh? Your magic wand is not bent or broken. <laughs> Look, it is safe. <laughs> But do you know why your magic wand appeared huh? bent in water? Huh? Mm. Oh. It is because of refraction of light. Oh. Refraction of light is the change in direction of light when it passes from one medium to another obliquely. Mm. <laughs> so, what do you think are the two media here? You don't know? Mm. No worries. I will tell you. <laughs> They are air and water. Oh. When the light rays coming from the tip of the magic wand pass from water to air, they change their direction, that is, they get refracted. When these refracted rays reach our eyes, our eyes trace them backward as straight lines. <laughs> Due to this, the rays appear to come from a point slightly above the original position. Hence, the magic <laughs> wand appears to be bent in water. Oh. Similarly, huh? like the magic wand, a pencil appears oh. to be bent in water. 